Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors, including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. Now, we do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru, higher standards, sponsored by Shorts Marine, everything but the water, and Bell Creek Equipment. For farm, home, or fun, Bell Creek is number one. Welcome to Outdoors Del Marva, the show that celebrates our communities, our cultures, and traditions, and the places we call home. My name is Jason Lee. And I'm Lauren Hitch. And Jason, it's our Christmas special, and I don't think we're quite dressed for the occasion. Hmm. You are absolutely right, Lauren. Um, what we need is some Christmas magic, and you can help us out, too, if you just say it with us. I, I do believe in Santa. I do believe in Santa. I do believe in Santa. I do, I do believe in Santa. Yeah, I, I do, do believe, believe in Santa. Santa. Whoa. Yeah, that may have been too much Christmas magic. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Jason Lee and Lauren Hitch. Lauren, do you know the song Walking in a Winter Wonderland? Oh, I do. But do you know Driving Along Mary Lane in Seaford? Hmm, I don't think so. Can you sing it for me? No, but I can do one better and show you. This is our first year doing it and we've received nothing but great feedback from, from everyone in the community. So Thursday through Sunday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., um, 8558 Elks Road in Seaford, Delaware. And you drive through, you, you pull up to the front, we'll have someone there to greet you with our flyer and brochure that tells you everything that's going on tonight and other nights as well. And then you go around and we have donations, uh, candy canes, Santa, the Grinch, all the donations, um, they go to Seaford Kiwanis and Here's Haven out of Sharptown. But we also have some charities that volunteer with us those nights and then a certain percentage of that proceeds will also go to them as well. It's just a great way to, to bring the community together and to give back to the community. Um, then once you're done through the candy canes and the donations and the Santa Claus, you will see the singing reindeer and then head back out the same way that you came. Uh, but we started in September looking at lights, checking what works, what doesn't work, getting them gathered, collected, coming up with game plans. We have our weekly meetings that we have as a team. There's six of us here uh, that drive the, the activities and meet weekly and determine what we're gonna do each step along the way and still working very closely with Cut'em Up Tree Care and that partnership. Everyone that we've talked to, more people than I realize have enjoyed the lights at their their, their house or their home, right? Um, even the electrician that we had come out to do the work, I said, listen, can you install can you install outlets along the lane or what are our possibilities? He recommended that and I told him what it was for. He said, oh, I love that. And my my girlfriend, we, we really missed out on it these last couple years, really sad. And I told him, I said, that's great. You can be part of the Christmas magic now. So it's a lot of hard work and, and a lot goes into it and Kenna had told me from the beginning, you're going to get so much out of it. Um, I'd say seeing the, the big picture. So you know, we're, we're doing strand by strand, light by light, decoration by decoration, and then seeing what we've created and then seeing the reaction, seeing the excitement. Um, from the families of all ages, right? So the kids and, and everyone, every age. Um, but I'd say seeing the excitement, I never realized how much you would get from creating something that brings that much joy and, and fun. Um, I appreciate that. And then I also appreciate the community, getting to know the community, bringing the community together. That's been very more rewarding than I would have ever imagined for all of us. It's awesome that a 25-year-old tradition is still being kept alive. Thanks to Mid-Atlantic Services for letting us come out this evening. Still to come on the show, we'll meet a holly wreath maker in this week's Remembering Scorchy Taws. But up next, we bring a little bit of the parade action right to you on the Outdoors Delmarva Christmas Special. <laughs> 